For the first time in astronomical history, an unprecedented occurrence happened that no one could have ever predicted. Even the world's brightest and most renowned astronomers were unable to believe their eyes when a black hole spit out a star. Yes, you heard that right. A black hole, infamous for devouring everything in its path without leaving a trace, the most destructive entity in the universe, allowed a star to escape its grasp. How did this star manage to avoid the catastrophic black hole? Will this be the key to unlocking the mystery of the deadly black holes? In today's video, join us in unraveling the latest mystery surrounding black holes. The most destructive object in the entire universe. 4.4 times 10 raised to the power of 30 pounds. 1.99 times 10 raised to the power of 30 kilograms. Try to imagine this enormous figure. It is the mass of our sun, the star that powers our whole solar system. Now think of a star, 10 times more massive than our sun, and squeeze this unimaginably massive star into the size of a city. Let's say squeeze it into the diameter of New York City. You will be given the most destructive object known to man, the black hole. Most popular science fiction films depict black holes as a tremendously terrible entity in the universe an unforgiving cosmic monster that annihilates everything in its path. Well, they precisely predict how destructive black holes are. But the true nature of black holes? What do they look like? Up until now, we are not so sure. Let us try to thoroughly comprehend the physics of black holes. What exactly do we know so far? As we said earlier, black holes are massive and extremely dense. The most prevalent cause of the formation of black holes is the death and supernova of stars. The center of the star collapses as it is overcome by density without volume, a black hole. Even though several movies depict the physical appearance of a black hole, we have only one picture of a black hole in the entire history of astronomy. It is nicknamed a black hole because of its black color, since light cannot escape its wrath. We can only see the impact of a black hole on the region around it. We've been studying black holes for decades now, and all of the stars that met a black hole shared the same fate, brutal destruction. Scientists observed countless stars close to a black hole getting viciously ripped apart. Is there nothing that can escape its fury? Scientists have lately discovered something new about a particular black hole. It spews fragments of a star years after shredding it into pieces. Keep watching, I'll explain that in a bit. But first, we need to learn how black holes devour the largest stars in the universe. The spaghettification of stars near black holes. Black holes are known to be merciless objects in space that devour everything in their path. Even light cannot escape. The frightening thing is that we cannot see these space monsters with our naked eyes. So, how do we find these lurking objects in the universe? Believe it or not, the concept of black holes was originally conceived in 1783 by an English physicist you probably never heard of. This is John Mitchell, a country parson or priest from England who was recognized as one of the most brilliant and innovative scientists of his day. John Mitchell studied at Cambridge University and then taught there, where he conducted various experiments in chemistry and astronomy. But perhaps Mitchell's most successful contribution to astronomy was to imagine the existence of black holes. While considering a hypothetical method to determine the mass of a star, Mitchell wondered what would happen if a star's gravity was so strong that its escape velocity, a critical speed to escape a star's gravitational embrace, exceeded the speed of light. Mitchell realized that the light would have to fall back to the star's surface, that light cannot escape such a body, and therefore would be invisible to the outside world. Today, we call this a black hole. This concept of Mitchell was so far ahead of its time that it gained some impression. And today, we are still scraping for information about black holes. It is true that even light cannot escape a black hole's wrath, but what exactly happens if another star got devoured by a black hole? And how did the star we recently observed survive the grasp of a black hole? Have you ever heard of the phase spaghettification? Simply put, if a star gets too near a black hole, it will stretch out like spaghetti. Due to the tremendous gravitational force of the black hole, this wandering star will be ripped into thin shreds of material. Now what's next for the star that got eaten mercilessly by the black hole? What's inside? We don't know. 
we don't have the capability to explore the inside of a black hole yet. It is simply impossible. The most we can do is speculate. Maybe a wormhole? Perhaps there is another universe inside every black hole. We have no idea. But one thing's for sure, an object that is consumed cannot escape a black hole. Or, that's what we thought. Recently, scientists observed something that has never happened before. A black hole spit out material of a star that got eaten years ago. A black hole violently devoured a star and burped it years later. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Scientists were perplexed by what this gigantic black hole had just done. In October 2018, a small star was shredded into pieces as it wandered close to a black hole in a galaxy 665 million light years away from Earth. Though that may seem fascinating, our scientists are used to seeing violent incidents while surveying the vast universe. The surprise came three years after the massacre, in June 2021, as the same black hole was emitting tremendous amounts of energy. Scientists thought that it had devoured another star, but to their surprise, it did not swallow anything new. A research team at Harvard and Smithsonian's Center for Astrophysics spotted an unusual outburst while revisiting the so-called tidal disruption events, or TDEs. A TDE is an astronomical phenomenon that occurs when a star is torn apart by the tidal force of a black hole, resulting in spaghettification. Parts of the star's mass are aggressively eaten by the black hole, producing a brief burst of electromagnetic radiation that astronomers can see even millions of light years away. This radiation flare will occur each time a black hole starts to consume a new star. One thing we should know about black holes is that they don't consume their prey's whole. They can't. During the spaghettification, some materials of the star get flung back into space. Astronomers compare it to black holes being messy eaters because not everything they try to ingest fits in their mouth. So, what makes this recent event of a black hole spitting materials surprising? Here's where our scientists get confused. When a black hole devours a star, the emission of material, known as an outflow, usually happens directly after a TDE. However, three years later, this black hole burped up a slew of materials. It spewed a substantial number of it from a star it ate years ago. Not just that, the outflow after a TDE normally has a speed of 10% the speed of light, but this recent outflow of materials is resoundingly fast traveling at up to half the speed of light. Astronomers have never observed this in a black hole before. This is the first time we've seen such a long delay between feeding and outflow. According to the researchers at the Center for Astrophysics, their next step is to explore whether this phenomenon happens more often than we think, and to further investigate the evolution of TDEs.